guys it's your girl jay antonet and welcome back to my channel this is the third and final part of my sas haul sas is officially finished now guys but as i explained in my previous two videos i do live in jamaica i do not have a bath and body Works store unfortunately so hence i had to do all of my ordering online wait for it to be shipped into the country and cleared by customs so i have it now and we're still going to talk about it because your girl has been enjoying this so far and i do love some of these scents that i have gotten so if you are just going to be watching this one now please go back and watch part one and two because in part one i talk about the fun fair collection and in part two i talk about like midnight swim ocean pearl um sea salt and lavender some more of like more fresh orangey citrusy more beachy vibe um um scent but in this one i'm going to be talking about more of like this summer the summer's um collection um and like some of the retired ones that came back and um the the um brunch collection as well i'm going to be talking about that in this particular one so guys this is going to be the third and the final one so stick tight enjoy don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it's the first time if it is the first time you are seeing my face i am jay Ansonette. i talk about anything that's gonna smell good make you feel good and look good Just peruse through my videos see if that's something that you're like and that you like what is going on with my tongue and just click videos click videos and click buttons so i ask Especially love that like button and I do like the subscribe button as well I'm just gonna get a sip of water here and also click that bell because you don't want to miss when I drop a video right no you don't so guys thank you so much for tuning in and let's get straight into this video all right guys so the first set I'm gonna talk about I think this was the summer collection I think it was i can't remember the name of all these collections guys but i think it was the summer collection so i'm going to talk about honolulu sun first because i have not i've never i don't think i've ever have had this in my collection just yet so i am going to be talking about that one first um so honolulu sun is fresh island coconut pacific palm and driftwood i think this is one of the ones that my boyfriend did pick out i do love coconut guys so i'm excited about this i am i'm gonna spray it right here let's see how okay oh that initial spray Oh, love that coconut in the fresh, the initial spray. This is definitely a nice coconut scent. Really pretty coconut scent. Oh, yes. That dry down there. I am getting a little woodiness. I'm getting a little woodiness that I don't really, really like. But I could sweeten this up with something else. So I'm not one to just say, okay, yeah, I don't really like that. Let's give it away. I know ways how to layer my fragrances to give me what I want from them. So I'm not really one to quick to just to say, okay, let's get rid of that. That's just not me. Okay, I do like this. I like that coconut note. It, as it dries down, I do get a little woodiness in it. I'm sorry for the dogs outside, guys. I do get a little woodiness in it, but that coconut tends to shine right through, which is what I like not a gourmand coconut though it is a fresh coconut it's like a fresh cut it off the tree coconut i live in the tropics guys so you know how that is mm, i like this i like the coconut note in this i really really do um this is a really really good summer scent honolulu sun it is for my coconut lovers so if you are into coconut like me i would definitely suggest that you do pick this one up it smells so good i like that coconut scent in it the coconut note sorry in it is really really nice so the next one it is actually this is actually a returning scent um this one is bahamas passion fruit and a banana flower i've had this in my collection before this is a definitely a heavy hitter okay i'm gonna tell y'all that from now i just did the wrong thing i'm, I'm telling y'all not to rub your scent in because it's gonna break the bonds and then look at me but this is definitely a heavy hitter oh she don't she don't play okay bahamas don't play i love this it is tropical it reminds me of a tropical drink so it's like okay the scent notes in this is passion fruit pineapple leaves and banana flower you know what this would be nice with anita this would be beautiful with anita because anita has a very beautiful passion fruit note in it so anita is a special collaboration that was done with sol de janeiro that would be beautifully with this guys 
So if you do have this in collection and you have Anita, I would suggest that you pair these two together. But it reminds me of like a beautiful tropical drink. It can be a little overpowering, so I would not suggest that you overspray something like this. But I do love this. You get that passion fruit, you get the banana flower. And I was telling you guys that the flower in this, I don't know, it smells very similar to the flower in Midnight Swim. I don't know. I don't know how that really happened. But I love this. And pineapple leaves. I do get that in this as well too, but I really like this. It kind of smells like it has been tamed down a little bit to me compared to like the ones that I've had in the past in my collection. I don't know. Comment down below if it's like that for you as well. But I do love this one. It reminds me of a tropical drink and it would definitely pair well with Anita. But we're not doing a layering video today, guys. We're just talking about what I got for my essays. But I like this one. Okay, so my next one is definitely a new scent. I, I definitely felt really, really, I don't know how I felt about this, but I heard persons raving over it and saying how unique it is. And you know, I am a risk taker, but I'm a risk taker for coconut because coconut is one of my favorite scents. Coconut Villa, vanilla um, are two of my favorite scents. So I was like, okay, I, I get the vibe that everybody's talking about, how it's giving off like a sunscreen vibe. But let me just try it out for myself. And I was brave enough to get the lotion for this. So these are the lotions that I like. I like the hydrating body cream lotions, guys. I like the packaging for this too. It's really, really pretty. I like it. It's It's got coconut and like a hibiscus flower on it. And then this one has like the palm leaves kind of thing on it. It's like in a copper kind of thing. So the scent notes in this is sun-kissed coconut, soft, or soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. Now, y'all, I'm kind of scared because... I don't know a lot of people keep on saying that this is there something here it gives off like heavy sunscreen vibes and I think I have a perfume that gives off that heavy sunscreen vibe and I don't really like it and then a lot of people are saying that it reminds them of oh what was it Soleil Blanc Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford I have smelled that before and this does kind of give me that vibe but i don't really like that sunscreen vibe i don't know let's see how it smells when it dries down this is so sunscreeny y'all i would definitely have to wear this like if i'm going to the beach but i don't know if i want to smell like that going to the beach i don't know and then i was brave enough to buy the lotion yeah right but the lotion smells a little different let's see it smells a little different to me I've always heard persons say that the lotion and the um the lotion and the sprays can smell different like look at that rubbing it's so creamy compared to like in my first video when I showed you guys the coconut um the cinnamon donut swirl how it's more water based this is more oil based so it gives you even a, a nicer like sheen mm, I mean I like it in the lotion I do get a nice coconut vibe from it it's not as sunscreeny as how this like this smells like sunscreen to me. It smells like sunscreen. I don't like that. I really don't. Heavy SPF vibes. I might give this one away. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to wear it first to see how I feel about it. But it's giving me heavy sunscreen vibes and I do not like that. I really don't like it. It kind of reminds me of Sole Blanc and it also reminds me of Tan Lines by um, Sol de Genera as well. I don't like that. I really don't like it. And I was like, uh, I really wanted to like this because it's a coconut vibe, but I don't. I don't really like it. I like it in the lotion. I mean, I can, I can wear it in, I can wear the lotion, but I don't really like the spray let's see i may wear it a little bit more and see but it is heavy on the spf vibes it does remind me of spf a lot the coconut note in it is pretty it's a very pretty coconut kind of reminds me of dried coconut they do dried coconut chips it kind of gives me that kind of vibe i don't know if i really the lotion smells good the spray is giving me heavy spf vibes i do not like that I really don't but it's all together it's a pretty scent but it's just not for me it's very heavy on the SPF vibes which I don't like so another one of the retired scents that I did pick up is your all-time favorite pink chiffon pink chiffon, 
pink chiffon y'all pink chiffon and i do like this new packaging it's really really pretty it's like a kaleidoscope kind of vibe like a holographic kind of thing it's really pretty so girly i always love this scent like this is this is a scent i used to rock back in the day when i was going to high school so the fragrance notes in this is sparkling red pear jasmine petals tiara flower vanilla orchid and chiffon musk express the flirty femininity femininity of feeling pretty in pink with pink chiffon yeah man this one is really really feminine this is very feminine very girly as it suggests it's very i don't even know where to spray now y'all i don't even know let's oh, I'm spray right here this is very feminine very girly yes very flirty very flirty Oh, this has such a flirty vibe to it, but it's always been so good. It never disappoints. That's what I like about this. Pink chiffon has never disappointed me yet. Never. Never ever. I really love this one. And I was so glad that they brought this back. Oh, it's so good. It's just really, really good. And I love it so much. So this is always going to be an oldie but a goodie for me. And then, guys... I picked up Sunset Glow, which is also a returning scent. I actually wore this today and I got really good compliments on it. I love this. I absolutely love this. So the fragrance notes in this is fresh coconut, sparkling cherry, um, seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and a caramelized vanilla. And look at that packaging. Look at this packaging. It is so beautiful i love this packaging guys it's so nice it smells so good i wore this with the cherry 62 today and it gives me a very nice vibe this sits very close to the skin i love how this lasted on me today i actually stopped smelling it at about three o'clock today and i i went to work um a little bit well i sprayed myself a little bit after nine so like a couple of minutes after nine so that lasted on me for a good couple of hours this smells really really good you do get oh it's so good i don't know y'all it's just i'm not even sprayed again because i have it on today but it says captivating like a beautiful sunset addictive addictive like a sugar rush this is the sweet treat you've been craving inspired by warm summer nights and delicious confections sunset glow is free-spirited perfection from sunrise to sunset you better believe it because that all that description is completely right that's every like this is such a beautiful date night sent to me but i just wanted to test it out today so that's why i wore it today this is a beautiful date night scent like i can picture it now like you're sitting by the ocean you're on like a um you're on like a mat and you guys are like roasting marshmallows or you're eating sandwiches or you're having like a picnic this is a very this is a beautiful day i think i really love this one last but not least guys we are going to be moving on to the loved brunch collection i knew that this was going to be um for sas so i didn't actually collect the um brunch collection when they originally came out um in spring i waited till sas i don't care i didn't get the creme brulee, but that's okay i will actually um try and get it again so we're gonna get into this collection now so the first one y'all know i'm gonna go into by now is the coconut cream pie i've actually had this in the mini scent about two or three years ago and that's completely gone so i was like okay it's about time that we need to upgrade to like a full bottle now jasmine so i really love this one the scent notes in this is toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. Whisk yourself away to a Parisian cafe and enjoy the delicate treats and bubbly drinks. I love this so much. The coconut note in this is beautiful. Oh, it's just, it reminds me so much of coconut cream pie. Like, literally, I love coconut cream pie, and it reminds me so much of that. But it's such a beautiful gourmandy kind of vibe it's so edible oh it's so edible and delectable i love that about this this is one of my favorite out of the whole brunch collection the next one is whipped berry meringue and guys let's take some time to appreciate this packaging like this packaging is really 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 good like i really love the packaging for the brunch collection and the fragrance notes in this is fresh berries whipped sugar and fluffy vanilla 
now i've been hearing so much goodness about this like i'm excited to smell this I'm really excited oh and i love this i love it i really love this i thought the berry would have been a little overpowering but i love this mm, this actually kind of reminds me a little bit of cotton candy clothes i don't know why but it reminds me a little bit of cotton candy clothes. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. I'll comment down below if you think that as well, too. It reminds me of cotton candy clothes. I actually showed you guys that in my first video, which is a part of the Fun Fair collection. These two smell really similar to me. Let's see. The okay, so spawn sugar. This has this has whipped sugar. This has spawn sugar. This has fresh berries and this has pink berries this has fluffy vanilla and this has whipped vanilla guys these are basically the same scent they are basically the exact same thing i kid you not oh why does my spray look like it's coming off i don't like that yeah these basically are the same thing literally these are basically the same these are basically the same thing but i love these i love them so much i love this I love this too because this is this gives me a little bit more berry vibe than this and this does kind of dry down and give you a, a softer berry kind of thing when this gives you a little bit more heavier so these two are very similar but I do like this I really like I really wanted to get my hands on the creme brulee but that's how it goes all right so the last one in this collection that I have is bubbly rosé now I heard a lot of people talk about this I love the packaging on this one too the pink like champagne glass kind of packaging it's really really pretty and the scent notes in this is pink sparkling rosé sweet blood orange and a splash of cranberry now this better not disappoint okay this is definitely a cousin to champagne toast minus like the heavy orange note yeah this definitely kind of reminds me of champagne toast it does mmm smells really good though I like this that cranberry is a little new for me as it dries down a little bit more I'm getting that cranberry but this is a very pretty scent. It does remind me of Champagne Toast. Champagne Toast is still that girl. This can't really run in the streets with Champagne Toast just yet. Champagne Toast is still that girl, but it is giving me that champagne kind of orangey, citrus kind of vibe, but it's not as citrusy as Champagne Toast. And that cranberry in this, when it dries down, I like that cranberry. That's very new to me, but I like it. I do like this. Bubbly Rosé. Oh, Let's see what I'll pair this with, but I like this. And last but not least, the, the last product that I got in this haul, guys, is I wanted to try out this aromatherapy line. This is the Cacao Rose. I, I really wanted to try it out because I'm trying to get into rosy stuff. I really don't like florals like that, but I do want to get into like some rosy kind of things. And um, it's the packaging on this is so pretty. And by the way, guys, this is glass. Like... It's, it's hard so the scent notes in this is um where is it Com this comforting blend of cacao and rose essential oils inspires feelings of love beauty and confidence made with vitamin e aloe and shea butter so let's see i said i was gonna try this first but i was hoping that this would have come in time so that i could have gotten the body wash and stuff mm yeah this is a no for me i swear this is something that i would give to my mom but <laughs> y'all know how that goes um no this is not for me this is definitely not for me I'm, I'm gonna ask my boyfriend if he wants it first before i think about giving it away to somebody or selling it i'm gonna ask him if he wants it because he likes lotions and stuff like that i mean it doesn't smell bad it don't smell bad but it's just not my vibe like i don't know rose is just never gonna be my vibe i don't see myself being a rosy type of girl maybe one day but i know i mean it doesn't smell good it, it smells nice i don't really get that cacao note that i thought i was gonna get i don't really get it mm. and normally i really like stuff from aromatherapy and i really do but i don't like this one 
mm, I don't really like this one. But that's Love by Bath and Body Works, Cacao and Rose. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate your love and support. That was the last part of my SAS haul. As I told you guys previously, I do have some um room sprays coming i'm not sure if i'm gonna do a video on that maybe i'll just do like a tiktok or a reel or something like that so if you're not following me on all socials please follow me at j antoinette underscore that's both for my tiktok and for my instagram come over there have a con conversation with me get into my dms i like to talk to you guys if you want to know what to wear for like a date night or something any topic you want to talk about just ask me all i don't bite i like to talk to you guys i like to converse with you guys and once again guys i appreciate your love and I appreciate your support i have some more layering videos coming for you i do have i have a lot of stuff in store for you guys so stay tuned for that um i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys so much and you don't know how much you guys do for me and my channel like i really appreciate you guys so continue to stick around give me a thumbs up of course and if you're new here and you've made it this far have you subscribed yet please don't waste your time you're gonna come back you are going to come back so subscribe all right guys thanks again so much for watching this video catch me in the next one bye my loves